Hey everyone, my name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you can take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel, take another second and hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Again, thanks a lot for stopping by. You know, what we're doing on this channel, we're helping people get sober one day at a time. It's a lonely business, alcoholism. It can be a very lonely busy business recovery. But here, I share my experience, strength and hope with other people, hoping that I may help somebody and that they can start or continue their journey of recovery. That's the whole mission of this channel, reaching out, building awareness and helping people stay sober one day at a time. What I would like to talk about today is a health issue that alcoholism caused with me, okay? Alcoholism and alcohol itself has many toxins in it. And one of the things that these toxins do to people who consume alcohol, large amounts of alcohol, even small amounts of alcohol, the toxins attack our organs in our body. They can create health issues. I was a full-blown alcoholic when I was 18 years old, so I didn't really feel it. I didn't really feel any, you know, I didn't really feel any health effects when I was drinking. You know, I might have been hung over, woke up with a big headache sort of deal, but no real, you know, heart problems or uh, liver problems or anything like that when I was drinking, when I was young. But as I accumulated the years of alcoholism, I was starting to experience heart difficulties. And I've talked about this before, heart palpitations. But there's another thing I was starting to experience. And I did not drink large amounts of alcohol. I didn't drink a 24 booze or, you know, a 40 ounce or a rye a day. I didn't do that. I, I drank about six to 10 beers a day. Well, that's enough, right? That's enough. And I did it for many years you know, day after day after day. And what alcoholism was doing to me, it was attacking my heart. And I was told I had a minor case of cardiomyopathy. I hope I pronounced that right. It's, I put it down here to make sure you can see it there for the correct spelling. And what cardiomyopathy is, is that it, the toxins of the alcohol attack the heart muscles. And what they do is they weaken the heart muscles. The heart can get reshaped because of this problem. It can cause difficulties. But the end result of this problem that is a direct cause from alcoholism, the problem with it is, is that it can cause your heart, your heart vessels to start to shrink or thin, and it can stop your vessels from pumping blood to your heart. It can cause stroke, it can cause heart attack, believe it or not. Okay, I was 28 years old, so I wasn't an old man, and I was experiencing heart difficulties because of drinking, because of drinking. It's, it's, it's very true. It's called alcohol cardiomyopathy. That's what it's called. And it's a direct result from alcoholism, consuming alcohol in large amounts. And everybody's body is different, so it can cause you know, maybe you can have two glasses of wine. It can cause that issue. I'm not sure you'd have to talk to your doctor, but I wasn't drinking two glasses of wine a day. I was drinking quite a lot of alcohol. I was smoking marijuana. I was doing acid and I was smoking cigarettes like crazy. So I had a really poor uh, lifestyle when it came to my health. But the good news is, the really good news about this is that this problem can go away. It can be stopped, especially in young people. It can be stopped. And the way we stop it is very simple. We just stop drinking. And the problem can resolve itself in some people. For myself, it didn't. I had heart problems ever since I sobered up. I probably had them when I was drinking, but I really didn't realize it until I sobered up and started looking after myself. So I've always had heart difficulties, arrhythmia problems, um, my heart missing. I've had difficulties with my heart from a direct result of my drug and alcoholism abuse, okay? So that's what this video is about. It's focusing on heart issues from alcoholism. We think that it's fun and game, it's fun and we're having lots of fun and this disease will never catch up with us. It really does. A lot of people don't die from alcoholism. You know, they don't put on his tombstone, Terry G died from alcoholism, or they don't put it on the report that, you know, the coroner's report that Terry G died from alcoholism. They may say stroke. They may say car accident. They may say heart attack. But these problems that cause death 
from alcohol are, I'm not, I mean, these things that cause our death prematurely are a result indirectly from drinking too much. My father had a heart attack in his 40s because of drinking too much. People have liver failure, stroke, heart attack, you name it. It can cause cancer. It's being proven now that extreme alcohol abuse can cause certain types of cancer. I don't know exactly what type of cancers, but it's, it's being studied that it can cause cancers in our bodies. Anything to the extreme causes difficulty, but alcoholism can really do a number on our heart. It can really do a number on our heart. It really can. So if you're experiencing heart difficulties, you're having problems, you're not, you know, you don't think something's going right with you, you might want to go to a doctor. Don't take advice from me or any other person on a YouTube channel, but go and see a doctor, get your heart checked out if you're in recovery and you just entered recovery, get your heart checked out. They can do stress tests, they can do echocardiograms, they can do a lot of things on your heart to make sure you have a healthy heart. Do that, okay? Make sure you do that. And don't, and remember one thing that just because you're young, don't think it can't happen to you. I was only 28 when I came into recovery. I was only 28. That's all I was. My first time I came into recovery, I was 22. I started silvering up when I was 28. That's, that's not too old, really. It really isn't on the big picture, is it? Okay, so that's what this bit video is about. It's about cardiomyopathy caused directly from alcoholism. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, leave a comment below. If you didn't, leave a comment below. But can you all do me one favor? Can you please subscribe to my channel? I really appreciate it. Thanks again for stopping by. Just remember, stay safe, stay sober. Together, we are strong. Together, we can get sobriety. Okay? Thanks a lot. God bless. Take it one day at a time, and I'll see you next week.